this video, I want to show you the three different ways you can get your top end values in Power BI Desktop. We're gonna go through them one by one and also talk about when and why you should be using them. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So to demonstrate, let's go through this example that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple um, orders table. So it has some information about um, orders. So um, order quantity and price, uh, different information about um, which company in which country was ordered from. So very simple data set here. We also have a calendar table here that I generated using DAX. And also we have a calculations table, um, which we use as our measure table, and it houses just one measure, which is total sales. And all it does is it calculates the total sales by multiplying the quantity and unit price. So from here, let's add customer country and sales into a table. Let's make sure that's a table. And let's sort it by total sales. So from this table itself, you have all the countries and their total sales, but obviously it includes all the countries within your data set. Now the first and easiest method that you can use to filter your top sales from this table is actually implicitly through the filters. So if we go to the filters here on the right hand side and you expand the customer country, instead of basic filtering, let's use the top N, which allows you to set um, to get the top values for your customer countries. So we want to filter the customer countries by its top 10 sales. So we'll put total sales on the buy value here. And you'll see that now it just gives us the top 10 countries. Now this method is probably my favorite because of how easy it is to implement. Um, if all you're doing is visualizing uh, top N values from your tables. But let's say you have a requirement where you need to show the top sales on a separate table in order to do some further analysis on it. Now the second way that you can do top N is through Power Query itself. So let me show you how you can do it. So if you hit transform data here, it will take you to Power Query. So from here, what we'll do is we'll create a reference to the orders query, um, just so that we can have that extra table that we can use for our top N. So reference, and we'll name this uh, top 10 country sales. PQ. So the next step is we'll need to group the quantities and unit price so that we can do our calculations on it. So we'll click group by and we'll hit advanced. We will group this by customer country and we'll add two aggregations here, both sums and we'll sum the unit price and the quantity. Quantity. So it will just give us um, three columns here, the customer country, unit price, and quantity. So from here, what we'll do is we'll add a new column which calculates the total sales from the unit price and quantity. Name it total sales. And it's simply just unit price multiplied by quantity. If you hit okay, you will get the total sales for the countries. Let's replace this with a decimal number. Let's sort it by highest. And here what we'll do is we'll keep the top 10 rows. And that will give you the top 10 uh, sales per country. If we hit close and load. And let's bring this next to our table here. Uh, customer country by total sales. If we order it by the highest to lowest. So now you will see that you have the exact same values if you do it through Power Query or implicitly through the filters. Now let's say you have a different scenario you're working on. Let's say that you have a very big data model, let's say a model with a million rows and you don't want to be modifying the Power Query because it takes too long to load. 
um, and it takes too many steps to implement. The third way that you can show top sales by country is actually by creating a DAX table. The third way that you can show top sales by country is actually by creating a DAX table which does the calculations on the fly. Let me show you how that works. So in order to do that, let's go to the data view and let's create a new table. This allows us to create a DAX table. We will name this one top 10 country sales DAX. So to differentiate bit against the other table that we created. And we'll start by creating top, top N here. So this is the function. Now from here it asks the N value, which uh, we say we, we want a top 10. And it, now it asks for a table. So let's put orders for now. Everything else seems optional, so we'll leave those blank for now and let's close this. Let's see what it shows us. So it's not quite what we're looking for. So you see that what it's done is it's actually taken all of the different orders in the orders table, sorted it by top to bottom and it just gives us the top 10 uh, orders but we actually want to group this a little bit, right? We, we wanted to uh, calculate the total sales first uh, from the unit price and quantity, and then we need to sort it top end from there. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to use the summarize in order to group our orders by country. Now we've covered how to use the summarize function in the past. If you are interested in learning how to write it um, and how you can group your data using it, check out that video. But I can just show you quickly how we can use the summarize function here. So first we'll type the summarize and it's asking for a table. So we'll do the orders table. Uh, let me just organize this so it's easier to see. Now it should be asking for a group. So what, how, what do we want to group this by? So we want to group this by customer country. So now we want to add what we want to aggregate here. So we'll want to do the aggregation of the, um, we want the aggregation of the unit price and the quantity here. So, um, but actually we'll just do total sales. This is the name of the column. And then here we want to put the expression that we want to do. So we'll do, uh, as I said, we'll do the unit price but actually we want to just do straight away unit price multiplied by quantity. So what it does is it creates two columns from the orders table. Uh, one is the grouping, which is the customer country. And the second is the total sales column, which calculates the unit price and quantity, which gives us the total sales. If I hit enter, you will see that it now gives us the total sales per country, exactly like what we did in the Power Query method. So now if you remember the summarize function is a tabular function, it means that it returns a table instead of a single value. We can actually use this in our top end. So what I'll do from here is I'll just cut. So I'll, I'll keep this in the clipboard. We'll go back to our top end, what we did earlier. And uh, again, we put 10. Uh, let's, let me just do, uh, sh that's shift enter to create a new line. So we'll put top N as a 10. And in the table section here where it asks for table, instead of putting the orders table, we'll actually just paste the summarize uh, function right here. And that should give us the table that we need that does the top 10 sales per country to just double check and make sure that's showing exactly what we want. Let's bring it to our table, to our report view, I mean. Again, put it as a table, sorted by total sales. 
So now you will see that you have the exact same values across these three different methods. So to recap, we looked at the three different ways you can get the top end values of your data in Power BI Desktop. The first one is implicitly through the filters. This is the easiest and fastest way that you can get your top end for your values. If you need your top end values as a separate table and don't mind the data load, you can do it through Power Query. And lastly, if you have a big data set and you want to make your calculations on the fly, you can use the DAX tables using the top end and summarize functions. And that's it for this video. I hope this helped you understand how you can get your top end values really easily using Power BI. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.